Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, Stevie Breach. Welcome to 4.15 in the morning uh, at my house, and I'm currently not wearing any socks. Um, Money in the Bank predictions video. I think there's no better time than now. I was going to knock this out last night, but somehow I fell asleep <laughs> and I uh, didn't get a chance. So uh, here I am making it because I am bored uh, before I go to work, and I already ate my bowl of Cocoa Puffs. Um, so... Here we go. Not that many matches here for you. As everybody knows, freaking A88. Uh, my buddy will be attending this show, and uh, I honestly feel sort of bad for him with the show being held so close to my house. This is the show that I really, really wanted to go to. It was a flip-flop between this or SummerSlam, and Money in the Bank almost won because I really wanted to sit real close to a Money in the Bank match. Uh, honestly, even though Jack Swagger won at Money, uh, the Money in the Bank at WrestleMania 26, uh, in my head, whenever I think of the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, I always think I want to go to one because I always forget that I've seen a Money in the Bank match before. But I always would love to see another Money in the Bank match. Um, but I think I made the best, the, the better choice here with these matches, unless something really, really big happens. It would be cool to see Punk vs. Brian, but more than likely I'll get a chance to see it at SummerSlam uh, next month uh, in, in, in L.A. Because uh, I don't see anything uh, coming with that feud uh, to really end it. Um, I think it's going to probably go one more month, even if they have to add uh, somebody into it. So maybe I made the better choice. Plus, you have, you know, fan access uh, to go to, which I was able to um, get a uh, VIP ticket for to meet CM Punk. Uh, will I get him to sign? We'll have to find out uh, sooner than later. But um, the pre-show is going to be Kofi Kingston and R-Truth, Hunico and Camacho in a tag team match um, for the tag team titles. I I'm guessing that uh, Kofi Kingston and R-Truth, even though R-Truth broke his foot, I'm guessing that if they held the titles this long, I'm guessing they're not going to lose them here. So I'll take uh, Kofi and R-Truth to win that match. Uh, from there, we have Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio going for the World Heavyweight Championship match. That news came out this week. It was kind of sort of small news with Del Rio just saying that he wasn't planning on being a professional wrestler for a long time and not even having that long of a future in WWE, more than likely. Um, if it's true, which I'm hoping that it's not true, I'm a really big fan of Alberto Del Rio, and I think he's going to be around longer than a little bit. But if it is true, I'm guessing that uh, WWE is going to lose uh, its stock that it has in him, maybe not take away his main event profile since they don't have a whole lot of main event guys, but Maybe not put a whole lot of stock into him. That way, if he does choose to leave and go somewhere else, uh, you know, he won't be able to say that he was this, this big-time professional wrestler that has all these world championships. Um, and, um, you know, not be able to make him better for somebody else. But uh, I'll take Sheamus for the win here. I, I know Sheamus had the, the long title run coming off at a WrestleMania, not as long as CM Punk. But um, I think they're trying to make him, you know, a really, really, really big deal emphasize a whole lot on the uh, title, and plus, if you have a title change uh, right here, it means you're going to have to wait longer um, for somebody else to get the shine before you want to take the money in the bank uh, and cash it in on. Uh, so, Sheamus for the win. In the other match, we have uh, Punk and Brian for the WWE Championship, AJ's special guest referee. Um, I don't know, AJ's the big factor, everybody's, you know, sort of like saying that AJ's a really big deal. AJ's going to pick the winner. Uh, is she going to go for Punk, who said that he wasn't going to marry her? Is she going to go for Brian, that said he wanted to marry her? Does that even matter? Are we, are we going to have a wedding in WWE? Um, everybody likes the weddings, but there's more SmackDown weddings than there are Raw weddings. And I, I guess even though that you know Daniel Bryan, in theory, is a uh, SmackDown talent, he's been on Raw a whole lot more than he's been on SmackDown lately. Um, so... I don't know. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about right here. But um, is it, are, are they ready for Daniel Bryan to win the WWE Championship? Maybe. <laughs> um, um, I, I think my gut theory is to pick CM Punk just because he's at the belt so long. But then also, you know, because of everybody thinking that AJ's going to be involved in the finish, that is makes you want to pick uh, Daniel Bryan a little bit more. Um, but you never know. Uh AJ could be a non-factor in all this, and she can end up with whoever wins the uh, Money in the Bank ladder match. So I'll pick uh, Daniel Bryan uh, to win this match, just for, um, I guess, shits and giggles. Um, and then talk about the um, 
WWE Championship Money in the Bank ladder match, which is going to be a big show. Kane, Chris Jericho, and John Cena. And I was a big fan of them letting other people in. I, I don't I don't know why you would have Rey Mysterio debut on Monday, uh, not have him come in for this match right here. Um, I think he'd be a big uh, factor. Um, a lot of people would think that because of him coming in, he has a real big shot to win. I think that um, he could add a whole lot of uh, excitement to the match, but I think maybe... They don't want to put fragile Rey Mysterio into winning the ladder match and have him get injured uh, his first time out. Maybe they they don't have a whole lot of faith in him having this uh, uh, high profile ladder match and and, uh, and not getting hurt. But if I have to pick anybody out of here, of course I'm to pick John Cena. Um, I, I don't see him losing the first Money in the Bank ladder match that he's been in. If he does cast, uh, get that uh, Money in the Bank match. Um, the the if he has captured the suitcase uh, from the top of the ladder, um, I'm guessing he would use it to cash in to fight The Rock at, at WrestleMania. I don't see him really cashing in any other way. Um, maybe he would, uh, you know, cash in the uh, Rob Van Dam way where he says this is the pay per view. I'm going to do it. I'm going to win the title back. Um, but I'm uh, not 100 percent sure that that's the best scenario for them. But in the back of my mind, even though it is stolen from uh, Observer Radio, uh, maybe that you do see Kane winning, uh, cashing in, which I know he's done before, uh, but maybe the, he could recapture his uh, relationship with AJ. Maybe it's a big rouge that uh, he's been out of the title picture and out of AJ's life for the last month. Um, not really thinking Big Show has a chance, not really thinking Jericho has a chance, but those are my two scenarios. I am picking the uh, Kane scenario over the John Cena scenario. And then over at the uh, the SmackDown World Heavyweight Championship match, where I guess they're going to be making a new star, uh, you have Damian Sandow, Tyson Kidd, Christian, Santina Morella, Tenzai, uh, Cody Rhodes, Dolph Ziggler, and Sin Cara. I don't think uh, Sandow, Kidd, uh, Santino, Tenzai... None of those have a good uh, chance to win. I don't think they have any chance to win. Sin Cara is a good fit in this match. Uh, Christian, who um, uh, and Cody Rhodes, who I guess are two Intercontinental Championship guys, I think they have a good uh, chance to win, and I think they have a good chance to uh, to, to move up. I think that would be a good way to brand them into uh, new stars. Ziggler is my pick, even though he's been in the title picture. I think that they are um, wanting to, um, to make this guy a, a solid main eventer. And just like when Miz had the Money in the Bank ladder, uh, Money in the Bank um, briefcase, um, you know, you were always thinking about him, even when he wasn't in the title picture, even when he was in the main event, he was somebody that you were always having in the back of your mind that it was pretty much any chance, any time he could come out there, which basically made him a main eventer, which basically got him to the point where he was able to main event WrestleMania. I think that uh, long stretch where Miz held on to the briefcase helped him. Uh, a whole lot. I, I was one of the people who thought he was going to cash in right away at SummerSlam, but he wasn't booked on the card. Um, but this pay-per-view could surprise people. Uh, this this pay-per-view could uh, be really, really good. Uh, if you remember back to last year's Money in the Bank, uh, I've said it was a great pay-per-view. Honestly, it's one of the best, best ones I could last remember. Uh, but that match, uh, that pay-per-view had six matches. Uh, all six matches weren't great. Um, but it was the undercard, a uh, surprising match for Mark Henry in the big show, uh, which really, really helped mold that. And you don't have any uh, mid-card matches on here. I'm guessing if they add any, uh, more than likely you'll see Brodus Clay or Ryback, which I guess they've been putting in a lot of pay-per-views lately. But I'm not sure those matches are what's going to make a great pay-per-view, even if you have those guys surprisingly get beat by somebody. Um, but then again, half the roster is injured, suspended, or so on or so forth, so you don't have a whole lot of guys to put out there, but I don't know. I'm definitely going to say that uh, Money in the Bank's not getting my money. I'm, I'm sort of glad that I'm not going, like I said earlier, but uh, there is SummerSlam around the corner, so I guess I will uh, make up for it there. But this is Stevie Breach. Thank you very much. Peace out.